So here's the thing, right? I'm the type of person when it comes to studying that I need time to grasp what I'm learning if it's not a concrete thing. If I can't see it happen or if I can't do it myself, if it's like some sort of abstract concept, I need to understand it. The teacher lecturing and talking in front of the class, I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Now I know what I need to go back and look at <laughs> because that's, no, that's not working for me. I have friends who wanna do study groups. I, study groups are great, but for me, it's way more effective when I already have a handle on the material and I know what I don't know. So my stages of studying are, I have no idea what's going on, stage one. Stage two is, let me just, start learning things let me just take in the information as it comes you know let's see what happens stage three is doing a practice exam or practice questions that's when i really can hone in on what i'm doing wrong because you know you use the answer key check to see what's right and wrong seeing what i need to focus on more pro tip for that three highlighter technique my mom taught it to me freshman year of college and i've used it every semester since basically when you're doing a practice exam or practice questions after you finish the questions and you're going through it pink highlighter green highlighter yellow highlighter you use the pink highlighter for the questions that you're getting wrong and you have absolutely no idea why you're getting it wrong or even worse you just don't even it's not even that oh i thought i got it right but it's wrong and i don't know why it's wrong no pink is i don't understand this at all yeah so pink is that type of question yellow is i got it wrong but i got it wrong for this reason and this specific component in the question and i need to go back and look at that and then green highlighter is i got it wrong but it was a mistake it was just like oh my gosh duh, like why didn't i think of that so those are the three colors so when you go back later on in your studying you only focus on the yellow and red highlighters and then right before the exam just skim through the green ones and be like okay remember don't make that mistake again you know third step practice questions and then the fourth step that's when it's actually most beneficial for me to work in a study group but i have friends who are totally down to work in a study group from their first step like they don't know what's going on or they know a little bit but like you know let's meet to study and i'm just like what <laughs> the first three steps for me have to be alone i can't do that with other people because it's i need to focus on what i'm trying to learn but that's just how i work but you know everybody has a different process so you have to learn your process and i didn't learn this process until i started college because obviously in high school everybody has the same process because it's a lot more uniform in high school than it is in college did i already use this color so yes once you learn your process it'll really help you when it comes to studying that's my biggest tip for you is just to like learn how you work and then on another note just like on a bigger scale like we're, we're really gonna get into it for a second you need to learn what's right for you period something tells me that i'm just gonna keep recording until i actually start painting and then i'm just gonna cut together every piece of slightly useful information hey look i put the acrylics in the lid yeah i hope something i said helped what are some other tips and tricks for studying and remembering things that you've learned that you'd like to share. Peace.